Now, I remember the first time I, I started to gather a lot of different herbs, and I was really excited to be able to get those herbs and put labels and go to the store and trying to find out where they have mason jars. And once I started going through different stores, and I tried different, you know, like Walmart and Target and uh, Sam's Club and Old Pottery, and I started looking at the different ones, you know, different ways in which to store herbs and the, the differences. And then I realized I didn't know much about how to store herbs. Should I keep them on a glass mason jar that was transparent? Or should I use a mason jar that is dark? What is the difference? Let's find out. The benefits of clear glass jars. To keep herbs in clear glass jars is very beneficial because you can see the color changes. A sure sign of corruption. A lot of herbs, once oxygen enters into the jar, they start turning a different color because it is organic material. It doesn't take much for herbs and petals, especially, or different types of plants, to start getting brown, like brownish color, to dry out and to start smell. Sometimes, if you are not careful when you're preparing or storing your herbs, you can get a little bit of oxygen into the jar and then more will start to form. If using a clear glass jar, just make sure to keep it in a dark, cool place. Flowers, roots, and petals are so much more prone to spoil and need to be replenished often. So before you start making any preparations or any kind of medicine, make sure that you check the color and you check the smell of your herbs. Marigold is a strange case in that just such as chamomile, both of them have a very long shelf life. Mint and lavender life decreases tremendously due to the sun and humidity. And in some climates or weather, such as Florida for example, Growing them can be extremely difficult, especially for lavender. Make sure that you keep your jars tight and don't use your hands to pick up herbs straight from the jar. Make sure that you use some kind of spoon or ladle or anything that is not going to leave bacteria and oxygen that can spoil them quickly. Now, what things do you need to do before storing your herbs? Well, you have to prepare your herbs for storage immediately after gathering. Don't let the herbs sit overnight because their quality will degrade quickly. Make sure that you shake the dirt off. Remember, dirt could have different kinds of little animals, bugs, or anything that was in the floor, right? In the dirt. Sort out the dead leaves and debris and separate the stems from leaves and seeds from the chaff. Wash in and blow dry the roots and then spread them out to dry. Roots will need to be chopped into pieces of one inch thick and leaves and flowers are the best left as whole as possible. Make sure you don't store leaves and roots together or different parts of the flowers. It's better to separate them, roots with roots, leaves with leaves, and flowers with flowers. You can store herbs in, in your harvest in different kinds, types of ways. For example, by drying, freezing, extracting, distilling, and making into wine. 